How gold is made into jewelry? Gold has traditionally been a precious metal due to its aesthetic and physical characteristics. Ever wondered how gold is transformed into a variety of exquisite jewelry designs? In the past, metals used to make jewelry were molded by hand, and gemstones were set into their clasps. However, because of technological advancements, jewelers today have access to various excellent tools that enable them to create items more quickly. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe to it, and don't forget to press the bell icon. We will tell you about a few methods of making gold into jewelry. Stay with us. Handcrafted Jewelry The gold is initially heated till the block-like metal piece becomes gradually moldable and transformable. This heat restores the metal's malleability, a quality that makes valuable metals simple to work with. The next step is a spinning iron wheel. In this procedure, the metal block is rolled beneath large wheels to create the sheets or wires that make the numerous forms required to create a whole jewelry piece. The next step is the soldering procedure which uses heat and metal to virtually fuse metal components. Small filigree work or holes that a large polishing wheel can't reach are polished. After that, the item is cleaned in an ultrasonic machine to get rid of wax or debris that manage to get lodged in unseen areas. The ultrasonic waves almost literally shake the dirt out of the jewelry's crevices, leaving it clean. The talent of each person involved in the manufacturing of this piece at some point or another significantly impacts the final product's quality when it comes to handmade jewelry. Hand fabrication is ideal for unique jewelry pieces since it provides jeweler design freedom. Jewelry making using gold casting process. One of the most widely used processes for creating jewelry nowadays is casting. This method is used to create around 80% of jewelry. Large machinery is used in this, and rubber or plaster of Paris is used to shape the gold. The process begins with the jewelry designers creating the pieces using 3D CAD, computer aided designing software, which enables them to convert their designs into digital files. With the aid of something we call a 3D printer, this computer file or 3D structure as you may want to call it, is then magically transformed into wax jewelry. The jewelry is composed of wax material. What are the steps in the gold casting process? The wax jewelry box is then sealed with molten resin, rubbery material. The resin is now pressure hardened after being poured into the container. As a result, the wax piece becomes airlocked inside a resin or dye a rubbery material that has been hardened. Now that this tie has been somewhat heated, the wax piece is melted and drained out of the dye, leaving a hollow shape like jewelry inside the dye. That is precisely why it is called a dye or mold, since this mold can now easily be used repeatedly to produce the same design. Then, the rubber mold is split down the middle, so that the central cavity is easily accessible. Hot liquid wax is pumped into the mold, where it quickly cools and settles. The wax jewelry is left after this hardened wax has been removed from the mold. Investment casting is the procedure that it goes through. Here, plaster of Paris is used to fill a furnace before the pattern wax jewelry is placed inside. Since POP is fluid, all available space inside the stove is taken up by it, excluding the pattern shape. When the furnace is heated, the plaster of Paris solidifies while the pattern of wax jewelry melts out and leaves a hollow inside. Now that the space has been filled with molten gold, it is swiftly cooled to solidify the gold metal inside. Dismantling the furnace yields waste materials, including gold cast jewelry and POP, that have been hardened. We now have the same envisioned gold jewelry after polishing any extra gold deposits off the surface of the cast design. The jewelry has now materialized and needs finishing and gemstone placement. This is the progression of gold jewelry from conception to completion, die striking. Another technique used to make jewelry is die striking. It is perfect for delicate jewelry that is lightweight and thin enough that you won't ever feel it tugging at your skin. Large dies with an image or name already etched on them are used to punch precious metal sheets into shape. Making jewelry with this method is comparatively simple. Which of these methods have you found the most interesting? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.